Wow. Magic uh, pick. Okay, that was cringe. Anyways, what do, what do you got there, Junior? What do you think is in here, bud? Um, fire merch. I would say so. Should we look? Gee, you're so cringe today. Oh, God. All right, anyways. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another one. Me and Samuel today, we have a very cool episode in store today. But before we get started, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Ducks Waterfowl. As you can see, we got a fire package and we need to do a little unboxing. Yes, so sir. let me see what's inside here. All righty. Right away, look at this fire hat. No, American Ooh. flag on the back. I love it. And then you got this sick design, this little patch. Should we try it on? Yeah! I can't oh man, it. you look good. No, 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 I'm not even lying, you look good. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, bro. Oh, dude, you look like America right now. Gang, gang. Alright, I think John should wear this hat. It's okay. Like, I feel like it's a big John hat. It's a dad hat, kinda. Oh god, yeah. And then, if you look in the box, we got another black shirt right here. I don't know what this one is. We're gonna crack her open. Ooh. 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 Back, oh snap freedom cupped up ducks oh god yeah okay That's okay incredible. what else is in the box so that shirt's already fire so that was last year's shirt and uh now we get to see what this year's shirt is gonna be for fourth of july once again we got the bruh this is fine how's this but, one look um you get the classic ducks head logo right there and uh, you come around and you see oh, that oh man big dibs on that shirt damn big bruh. dibs all right well that one's that one Let's see what's in this one. Oh, I already like this one. This one's already looking fire. And it's blue too. Holy murka. Oof, look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, so as you can see, the boys are gonna be swagged out in the America gear. And actually, this is like the Freedom line. If you guys wanna check out any of this stuff, it'll be linked down below. From now into the 4th of July, you can get all of the Freedom stuff for 15% off. So you guys definitely need to capitalize on this stuff. Go to the link down below, do yourself a favor, and get swagged out. All right, so now, I think we need to, one, get swagged out, get our, get our gear on, and then, what are we doing today for today's video? We are going to be going crawfishing. Last year we went crawfishing a couple times and we had some luck. I feel like this year's going to go a lot better. Last year I didn't really know what I was doing. I was in a whole different area. I was down in Omaha and I didn't really know any of the creeks down there. But up here I've gone crawfishing before, like set minnow traps and we've caught a lot of crawfish in some places. So I think we have a decent idea on where to go. There's a whole bunch of little rivers and creeks that go near our house and uh, well, they're pretty loaded with some minnows and some crawfish. We're gonna find out if we can't catch any of those suckers and do a little catch clean cook on them. I haven't had crawfish in a long time. Um, I still don't really know how to eat them, so if you guys know, leave a comment down below for me. Um, I know you're still like, supposed to like twist the tail and take out the poop line or something. Uh, last year I did not take out the poop line and it was not very uh, fun. But this year is gonna be totally different and they're actually gonna get good tasting. And I feel like we might be doing a big boil, maybe, if we get enough. Oh, yeah. After we get our freedom gear on, we're going to go get our trap set up and get some bait. And then we'll see you guys at the creek. Okay, well, John and I made it here to the first spot. And uh, we're going to see what this one looks like. We're not quite sure if we want to uh, set the traps here or not. I've seen a lot of crawfish here in the past. We're going to see if we can't find them and uh, set the trap. All right, my man, it's time to get the traps out. There oh, we go. Man. The beauty. There's a duck's lanyard in there too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Well, this is the trap here. Yeah, Sam got this trap, I want to say, last year. Yep. Right? Last for year on this yeah. time. Yeah, so it's pretty easy. We'll walk down the creek here and show you how it works. Which side? Oh, this side looks a little bit shadier. Deeper. Look at that. There's a fish right there. Oh, yeah. A little bluegill. That's a carp. That's a carp. Oh, it is a carp. Baby carp. Baby carp. Trapped in here. So we got a trap here. We're just going to come down here. We got this little spring attach here we're just gonna take this get the rope out and the ducks lanyard now I'm dripping hard but uh this is nice we're gonna take our bait right here show you guys what we're using today we got a hot dog bun a hot dog and some salami rolled up so we're just gonna put that there close this back up take this spring and close it back up now that's all we have to do we just have to throw it back in the thing and uh, basically what these crawfish are gonna do is this is just gonna be sitting there like that. They're gonna be like, ooh, some hot dogs and salami. Big bet, my dude. And they're just gonna crawl up this and just shoot in and then they won't be able to get back out because I don't know why. They're too dumb. But we're gonna throw this in the water. I think you can just give her a lop over there. I don't know. Like right here or further up? Yeah. Uh, right there looks pretty good. Alright, we're gonna put her here. We wanna make sure she's, you know, laying 
horizontal and uh, now we just need to put the rope somewhere and tie it on it's not gonna go anywhere nor do I think someone's gonna steal it they might check it out but I think we should be good so we're gonna leave this trap marinate in this water for about two to three hours roughly around in there give it enough time I'm sure the crawfish will find it fast because I mean there's not much water for them to go to and uh, I don't know how much moving water is going through here right now because we haven't gotten rain in a long time so I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take this crawfish to find it you guys just hold on tight and I'll see you guys when we come back all right we are here back at the spot it's been a couple hours and uh, Johnny what do you think I have a good feeling do you I do I think we have two or more two or more John thinks we have two or more I'm gonna guess five Feel good with five. Our trap is gone. Oh my god. Ah! All right. Moment of truth. I finally got her untangled. We're going to get her up and see what we have inside. Oh, Johnny. I see something flopping around there. Looks like we got a couple. Oh, whoa. We got some. Bro. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. I'm scared to put my hand in there, Dad. Oh, there's some nice ones in there, there's bro. There's some bluegills we need to get out of here, though. You got some bluegills? Oh, God, yeah. Look at this little guppy. Oh, heck yeah. Should we catch Clean Cook? Pass. Should we throw him back? Okay. He's good. He swam away. Um, we got eight crawfish. Would you look at that? Look at this little guy. Roar, XD! That's what he said. He's going to taste good. We got a big chungus fish in there. Oh, what? What is that? Dude, I, what is that? That looks like a... Bowfin or something. Yeah, it looks like a bowfin. I would say it's a stickleback, but it's not a stickleback because it doesn't have any fins. If you guys know what kind of species of fish this is, leave a comment down below. Let me know because I don't think we have bowfin down here, but I'm not really sure. But that's what it kind of looks like, does it not? This little guy is going to go back in the water. There he goes. And... Make sure there's no more fish in here. We're going to take this greasy little hot dog bun and throw her in there. And then we got one more little bluegill. There she is. She is going to go back in the water. Gosh dang, boy. We got eight of them. What well, do you know? We'll just leave them in the trap. And we're going to go home and uh, do a little catch clean cook on these guys. Okay, I'll just go home and poop myself then. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. That's what I was looking for. I was busy. Heck yeah, sorry about the wind. I know it's terrible, but we got some crawfish. Time to bring them home. Alrighty, folks, we have made it to High V. I just got word that my mom wanted to actually have a crawfish boil tonight, and when I told her we only had eight crawfish caught, I'm gonna go to the local seafood store and pick up some more crawfish so we can have a big family boil tonight. So the plan is we're gonna stop here, get stuff for the boil, and then my mom's gonna add in more crawfish for our boil tonight. Sammy, ready to get the goods? Yes, sir. Mmm, so first on the, oh, right here, look at this. Crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil in a bag. I, I feel like that's what we need. We were gonna get Old Bay, but that just said it was for crawfish, so we're just like, that should work perfect. So now we need to go and get shrimp, corn, and red potatoes. We got the man, the legend, Tucker Kissy over here. This is the guy that comments pigs on every Insta post that we have. This is the man's. So we got cooked shrimp. Um, we have some raw stuff over here too. I don't know what kind, of, what kind of shrimp do you need for a crawfish boil? I would do raw, unless you are, unless you just want to deal with the cook. I would just listen to this man. So if you do something like this, this is 51. This kind of looks like milk toast. Don't they look like milk toast? <laughs> Or is that what shrimp's supposed to look like? I mean, these are the raw ones, but like, so oh, you can gotcha. see those are kind of small and these are a hell of a lot bigger. Gotcha. Which so, one? Do you want big ones? I feel like we want big ones. Beef cakes yeah, only, get, right? get the keggers. Get the keggers. If you don't want those, you get even bigger ones. We got 1620. Oh these my. Are, we definitely do not need those. Those are, are giant. Deals, yeah. So oh the, count, my. the count goes how many go in a pound. So roughly there's about a pound of this right gotcha. there. Gotcha. All right, we'll go with these right here. Thank you, Tucker. Appreciate it. All right, now we are on the search for corn. I just realized it's not corn SZN yet, so I don't know if they're gonna have any fresh ones here that we can chop up into cobs and then put inside there. That's what we need, but I am not seeing any. Okay, just kidding. We found, look, these are they're right by each other. What we need, we have a bag of red potatoes and corn. What, what corn looks good, this guy? This guy? I don't know, what's a good looking corn? 
Mm. I'll play these guys, they're chunky fish. Yeah, you can get one of them. They look that. nice, all right. Slap so there in there, and then what bag of red potatoes do you want? Yeah, that's a lot of potatoes. Yeah. All right, well, since we didn't want to get the giant chungus bag of red potatoes, because we'd have potatoes enough for the rest of the year, we're going to get this red, white, and blue potato melody. We're sticking with the America theme today. So we got some red ones in there, and some... That one looks... That's a rock? Is there a rock in here? I don't know. Then we got some other kind of potatoes in there. I don't know. We're, we're just going to get this, Sam. How do you feel about that? Is it a rock? Yeah, look at that thing. It's not a rock, my dude. Well, it ain't a potato. Definitely a potato. All right, so I believe we have everything for our crawfish boil. Now, all we got to do is go home and figure out how to cook these. I have no clue how to do this. So let's go home and figure this out. I will say the cans on this do look a lot cooler, though. Oh, hey. This fatty made me go get him a zero sugar do because uh, he's too lazy to go walk downstairs, I guess. But... Got the, we got the frostbite, the Ooh, juice right here. Big frostbite Cheers. guy. Yeah, oh God, yeah. All right, what's going on guys? It's been a hot minute. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon or the evening. It's time to start making this food. So, Daisy, how are we feeling about it? All righty, so this is the crawfish that my mother went and got because she wanted a bigger boil. This is the juice here, and I haven't even opened this up yet. So we're gonna take a peek at these guys in here. Oh God, look at the chungus oh, in Oh man, there. you wanna lift a, one out of there or something like that? Wow, this is a lot in there. I think my mom said she got like five pounds of crawfish. Look at that freaking oh, chungy, bro. Oh, my guy, what's up? He's dripping. He's dripping? Oh, is, is he peeing on you? No, he's just dripping. Oh, all right, well, these are some of the crawfish right here, as you can see. Oh, look, I mean, look, that's all crawfish, and it's it's wet in there, but that's all crawfish. Holy criminy. Okay, so first step is we're gonna take all the crawfish that we have, and we are gonna wash them off thoroughly with water. So, step one, coming in hot. All right, so step one, we're gonna clog this son of a gun right there and fill her up, Sammy. All right, I wanna see a dumpage here of the crawfish. This is gonna be interesting, oh yeah. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Oh God. Look at this guy, he's so dark. Oh my, <laughs> holy cow, dude. Are man. you seeing all these things? Yeah. All righty, oh my. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're actually gonna let those soak in there. We just threw all the crawfish together, so none of them are like separated. They're all mixed. All eight of ours that we caught today are mixed in here. I don't even know where they're at anymore, but oh, oh, all these things are scary. Step two is we're gonna fill a large pot with water, and we're gonna bring that to a boil with our seasoning that we got. And then after that, you throw the crawfish in there. Then after this is done, we're gonna take a large bowl of water and just start boiling it. This is the kegger right here that we're gonna use to boil all of those guys. So we are just gonna let these guys soak and then I'll see you guys for step two. We open our seasoning right there, look at that. Zaratins. We open that up and you stick that, wait, I, you, I think you dump it in there. Like you open you open up the bag oh, and dump it like in there. Oh, it's not like a tea bag? No, what, what is my man's doing? Or maybe you have right. holes in it, dude. Oh, like, you're, you might be right, actually. All right, so we just dump that bag in there. I mean, you don't got to take it out or anything like that. You just, just dump it in there. Yeah, you just give her hell. I mean, and then put a little bit, put, put a little more, uh, uh, some stuff in there, you know? Boom, hot, dirty bird. I think you want it hot or do you want chipotle? I'm um, thinking hot. Hot, for sure, hot. Do that. It's just. Get their whole lather up in there, eh? Stir this around. Oh, yeah, that's looking magnificent in there. Now we just chill again. Our crawfish, they're just soaking in there, just living life. And uh, yeah, they look like they're just having a grand old time in there. Once the water's done boiling, we take the crawfish and put them in there for two minutes only. Let them boil in there for two minutes, and then you take them out and let them steam. So uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Oh man, she is a uh, boiling. Look at that. That looks delicious in there, actually. All right, scoop them inside, please. Hello, crawfish. Ooh, doggy, get in there. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, now what you do is you just let them sit in there and we cover them up. I'm gonna cover this up. You're supposed to set a timer for two minutes only. So, once that two minutes is up, we take them, we dump them into another little container, and we steam them. All right, it's been two minutes since it started boiling, and now they are done. 
well not done done we have to take them out now put them in this guy and cover it up for 15 minutes to steam yeah daddy yeah oh god yeah oh wow yeah you're just getting after it. i'm so proud of you right now thank you mm -hmm. yes sir oh last guy now that we have all of this done, we're still gonna use this seasoned water. We're gonna use it to bake our other vegetables and stuff. But now, Sam, bring this over here and cover her up. Steaming time. Steaming. So now we let it steam. You let it sit in there for 15 minutes, folks. Onto the vegetables. First, you're supposed to do the potatoes because potatoes take the longest to do. So we're gonna dump the potatoes in, then the kern, then the shrimp. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Louisiana. We are Louisianans now. Okay, so we are just gonna let that sit in there for a little bit. It said to, they take a little bit longer, so that's why those are going in first. We're gonna let those guys sit in there for a little bit, then the corn's gonna go in, then the shrimp. All right, I need to see some corn dumpage. Oh, uh, dump the corn. Dump them in. Oh, yeah. All right, last step. Let's, how's it look? Ooh. Oh, snap. Last step, we're throwing in shrimp, and this is totally optional. Like, I don't even know if people do this, but we're gonna dump her on in. There goes a lot of water. Ooh, yep. Yeah, we're gonna be eating soon. We have our corn, shrimp, and potatoes done. They're dumped on there. I've always wanted to do that. But now we're going to dump the moment of truth. I got a that... random claw on there. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your YouTube channel? Yeah. All right. Time to dump the crawfish. Oh, baby. Let's go! Oh, snap, daddy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This looks good, bro. Sam and I didn't want to disturb our family while they're eating, just by like holding the camera. There's a hummingbird. Didn't want to hold the camera and just be like, oh, ooh, ah, yeah. So we went outside, we made our own little plate. We're gonna do a little taste test now. I'm really excited, it looks amazing. I'm gonna go for this King Daddy right here. Ooh, you should probably do a little tutorial on how to eat these sons of guns, well, too. I'm no expert. I remember last year, a ton of you guys were making fun of me for how to eat them. Unless you have gotten a little bit more of experience. But right here, we're just going to twist this top piece. Hopefully, we get the poop line. I'm no expert on it. Um, I swear, if I don't get the poop line, I'm going to be pissed. And I did not get the poop line. Twist her off here gently so we get all that good stuff. Look Ooh. at that. And uh, you can suck the head. Um, personally... I'm not a big fan of sucking head, but uh, you know, that might fit some of you guys. It fits me. So now you get left with this juicy stuff and we're gonna peel back the top two and this should just pull out here, just like that. And then you are left with this juicy succulent little piece of crawfish. Cheers, boys. It would be better with probably butter, but you know what, cheers. Dang, bro. Fire? That's pretty good. That's pretty dang good, I'd say. Um, try, try the rest of our stuff. All right, I'll, I'll take a bite of the corn. Here you go. Corn, cheers. Mmm. Tastes like corn, but with a little bit of spice, you know? Mm. Mm, hummingbird. Red potato. Cheers. Who's hot. Potato's hot AF, bro. Woo! Potato's good. Oh, God. We're going for the shrimp, bay. Here we got shrimp. Um, you know, these are good baits. You know, you can catch bluegill, catfish, a lot of stuff on them. Eh, cheers. Mmm! <clears throat> Bro, I think the shrimp is my favorite thing out of that. Really? The shrimp's pretty good. I mean, the crop, don't get me wrong, the crawfish is fantastic, but the shrimp, bro. A1. Oh yeah, you already know. Daddy John's gotta give this a go here. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, alright. Ooh, Daddy! Look at that. Oh my goodness. We're gonna take off that poopy looking stuff. I'm not sure if you're supposed to eat that or not, but that's going out. Look at that. It looks like a mini lobster, dude. Honestly, mini lobster. Again, we're gonna get marked in the comments because you guys are like, you gotta suck on that. You know, I'm gonna suck on the head actually. <laughs> you know, you're, you're supposed to suck it through the other side, bro. Oh. Not the tip of the head. 
I'm supposed to bite down and suck. Okay, you know what, we're, we're, we're gonna save sucking on the head for the next video. This is no sucking on head video. All right, so we're gonna try this guy. Pretty good. Slapper. Wow. Yeah, we killed it, dude. Oh my God. That's so good. All right, well, that is where we're gonna end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this crawfish catch clean cook. We tried to do this Louisiana style as possible and drop some comments down below and let us know if we did a good job. Also, let us know in the comments down below if you wanna see us do another video. Maybe we do like underwater footage of trying to catch these guys or maybe we just go out and try to like catch them with our hands. Like, I don't know, drop some comments down below. Remember to cop some gear from Ducks Waterfowl. Their sale for 15% off on the Freedom stuff is from now until the fourth. So go get your swag. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs>